All right. We're going to carve a um, pirate out of a bar of soap. Now this ought to be interesting. Let me get that just the way it is. Um, this ought to be a lot of fun. And, so <laughs> and uh, I'm going to show you a little something we're going to do here as we work with this. First of all, what do we do? We take the ends off. We square this thing off as we have done with everything that we've done. You square it off. And you come in the back, back here. And you begin to square this off. Doesn't take a whole lot. Okay. And we got to take the zest off there. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to take a whole lot off the front because I'm going to need the front just a little bit okay now I'm going to come here I'm going to come across like I did and we're going to of course this is where our feet's going to be whoop I'm sorry I don't know what I'm doing here <laughs> I gotta I gotta straighten this up first okay we got we got to get this thing straight first. Okay. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. There we go. Now. Okay. Well, same type style as we have. Now let me come up here, make our little cut. And come on the other side and make our cut. This is where our head will be. Just like that. Okay. All we do is we're dividing our our head, our body, and our feet. That's your first step, of course, as we say. Okay? Just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and come here, and I'm going to go ahead and divide the feet, okay? I'm going to lower this just a little bit more because we're getting down into this area here where I want you to be able to see what we're doing. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to come up from here with the pants legs, or as we've done with the other ones, but we're going to do something a little different with the pirate. We're going to make him a peg leg. Okay, and 
and come in between here. All right, before we do anything, basically we've got our shape here, okay? Like that, with our head and our... Now, I want you to understand you can do the same thing with a block of wood. It's the same type thing that you would use with wood. Same type of situation. All right, now let's go ahead and take some away from here so we can bring the sort of, as we say, the blocking out period and stuff, as we say. All right, now let me show you. Let me get a. Uh, Show you something a little different. Uh, let me get, uh, here we go. Now, the, put this like this, the left side over here will be in the pockets, okay? Let me see. So, in other words, the arms will be in the pockets. So let me go ahead and cut that. And put that in the pocket. All right. You see why this is such a great way to teach people that are just learning how to carve? They learn a little, they can learn the cuts, let's put it that way. Even though that, of course, when you deal with wood, you have to deal with the, the only difference is that you have to deal with the grain. Okay. Make a cut back here. And that is, on this side, is where our hand will be in our pocket okay all right now on this side I want his hand holding a a little sword or a little knife or something like this so let me let me explain what we're gonna do here you take it and his hand will be coming somewhere up in here okay basically so let's draw that something similar to that right there in other words okay his hand will come out like that and then the sword or the knife will be in that hand so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda come up like this here come across and then we're just going to draw a little sword in there in other words now what I need to do is just come uh, with this hand I don't really have a lot of room in there so I can come further down here and make the sword of course longer just like that where it comes across the chest so let me show you how I do that. Okay. Now, I'm going to make a cut right here, okay? Just like that. And I want my arm to come down. So I'm going to come up here and come over here like this. Like that. And then the arm comes down just like that. Okay. Now I could carve the little uh, sword separate, but I don't really need to do that. All right. Now, of course, 
the arm will come further back just like this and then we just basically come in here like this and come in here like this in which we will shape the sword or the or the, the knife and start removing a little bit of soap okay and we take some off in here and of course we come down here and take some off in here just like that all right now we slowly begin to remove some soap from this area and we remove some soap from this area all right and we'll bring this back in here and bring this back in here there we go now let's cut away from this area and see how that just that brings that area out right there in other words all right now actually we could we could have cut um, and let me bring this area in right here okay All right, now, as we look at this, sorry, let me kind of remove some wood, excuse me, remove some soap along here. Okay. Now, you're going to come along here, and you're going to move some more, some in here. All right, now you start kind of working as the hand would go over. In other words, the hand comes over the like this, in other words, and you just kind of, there we go, see? And you start to just sort of wing out this little area in here I know it's a little bit hard to see but as you can see now we have enough room to create our knife in there okay now it's time to go so we'll come back to this and I'll show you as we continue all right? Okay.